Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today was a really exciting day for fans of Nikki Britt because not only are all the artist edition of the mini Pepper Annie's landing in their homes, but Nikki announced today in the Facebook fan group that later this year there would be artist versions of mini Tutti Frutti available. That is just incredible for anybody who is a big fan of Nikki Stalls or for anybody who maybe missed out on the mini Pepper Annie's and is having second thoughts and wishing they had done this. It's really great news. So I know that we're just all getting over or we're still reveling in the excitement of our mini Pepper Annie's coming home, but to kind of build up some more of the hype and get excited about the Tutti Frutti announcement, I wanted to show off my artist full set Tutti Frutti. And I got her back in 2016 and you can see on her certificate of authenticity, I got her at IDTS and she was a one of a kind artist special Tootie the Forest Queen and everything in her costume was made by Nikki. So that was really cool for me to have a complete piece of artwork from her from head to toe. And Tootie was one of three fairies and I was really lucky to be able to bring uh, Tootie home with me and Janice in Australia got the other two fairies so we have sister fairy dolls uh, that live live half a world or maybe a whole world apart from each other but what I want to do is I want to take a look at some of the details that went into this full set now there's no telling what the artist versions of the mini Tutti Fruities are going to be like. I would imagine in my mind they would be something along the lines of the Pepperani. I don't think they would be quite this detailed as, as my full set is or some of the other full sets I've seen such as the Pirates which are gorgeous. If you haven't seen the Pirate artist versions of Tutti Frutti you have to go check those out. But I just wanted to show mine and show, show you some of the details and so we can all get excited together about the possibility of getting an artist edition later this year. So the first thing I want to show off is this hat and this hat is incredibly detailed and when I say hat it's really a crown. So you can see here there's some butterflies and all sorts of charms. There's a little key and the, the hat, the excuse me, the crown, I keep calling it a hat but it's a crown because she is the forest queen you guys and every queen needs a crown. Um, she has some charms, some a key, and some little rhinestones, and then a butterfly, and there's even some moss on the tip of this horn-shaped object. And then in the middle, she's got some really iridescent colored rocks. And then at the top, she's got some clear marbles that are, are nestled sort of in this moss uh, thing on top of her head. And then over on the other horn, she's got another butterfly, and she's got a little bottle of pixie dust or fairy dust, I guess is the more appropriate term, uh, hanging down from that hat. So just the detail, and the hat is made of a sort of, I'm not sure if paper mache is the right word, but whatever it's made of, it smells so good. I know that sounds totally weird, but the hat or the crown, correction again, Allison, the crown smells so good. So I don't know what it was made of, but whatever it was made of, it smells fantastic. So, but it's like a paper material and it's coated in glitter too. I don't know if you can tell that with this lighting, uh, but it's very glittery and it's gorgeous all around. Now, if we look at, at uh, Tootie's face, she came with a caramel colored eyes and she's got kind of the eyebrows pointed upwards with a sort of inquisitive expression and she has a purple mohair wig. And when I first got her, I thought that maybe this was the same purple wig that Phoebe Phantom had, but I later got a Phoebe Phantom and it's actually a different shade of purple. So this purple is a little darker and the Phoebe Phantom purple is a more bright, almost lavender sort of purple. I would maybe describe this as a smoky lavender, which is probably, I'm probably the only person that would describe a lavender that way, but that's sort of what it reminds me of. All right, so let's look at her costume now, which was handmade by Nikki also. So what is under this costume, and I'm gonna remove this really quickly, is it's, it's, a, it's like a onesie. I don't know what the proper term would be, but this brown sort of paisley thing with the fluttery sleeves 
is a onesie that goes all the way underneath her full skirt. So if you see, I'm gonna try to lift up her skirt here without knocking her over. You can see at her feet, it goes all the way down to her feet. So on top of that, there is a green vest that has some grommets in it and then it ties up with ribbon. Now I have never been able to get the vest back on the way that it was when I first got the doll. So it looked a lot better when I brought her home, but I've undressed and redressed her so many times that that's kind of what it looks like now. The skirt is made of gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. And I'm not sure what Nikki did to the fabric, but it's, it's almost stiff and crinkly. I don't know if you can tell by me. Oh, don't fall. Oh, good, okay. I don't know if you could tell by me handling it, but it's, it's very stiff and crinkly, and it's also got a really nice coat of glitter on it. So this Forest Queen Fairy Tootie is all about glitter and fabulousness, if you ask me. She also has a set of wings, which are Monarch Butterfly Wings. Now, I'm gonna carefully turn her so you can see those. So you can see they're on crooked, they came with a magnet and somehow, and this is because I play rough with my dolls, which I probably shouldn't play so rough with such nice dolls, but I do because I buy them to enjoy them and I don't ever plan on selling them, so that's just kind of what I do. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken her hat off because her hat always wants to jump off her face. And I honestly don't display her with the hat on. I do display the hat because it is a piece of artwork all, all in its own right. But I do not display her with the hat because it slides down a lot. It has a strap, but unfortunately every time it slides down her face, it leaves these awful little scratches all through her face up. So I rarely ever put her hat on her. I do, like I said, display it, but I don't keep it on her because I don't want to damage the face up anymore than I have to from my normal wear and tear. So I'm gonna spin her around slowly so you can see the full 360 degrees of her outfit. And you'll see where I've lost the magnet to the wings and I've put safety pins on them. So I don't also don't often display her with the wings just because they're so wide and they're also quite fragile and I don't want to damage them so I keep those put up separately. But I'm gonna spin her now so you can see her outfit, 360 degrees. And you'll get a good look at the wings from here, even though I have them on very crooked, which I do because my safety pin job was um, very substandard, as you can see. But the wings are gorgeous. I love them. You can see they have a lot of glitter on the back from here. Maybe you can see it. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but they're very pretty and they just complete her entire forest queen look. And I love that they're monarch butterfly wings because I think monarch butterflies are so beautiful. So there she is. That is my artist full set tootie. And so I hope that this helps you get excited and pumped up about the upcoming tooties. And I hope we're all able to get one and there's no telling when they'll actually be available, but the announcement today said they would be sometime this year. So if you have any questions, leave me a message below. If you're not part of the Nikki Britt Fan Club on Facebook, come join us. I'm one of the admins, I can add you. So just send me a message or get on Facebook and look for us and add and join up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.